back in our art room today. I've decided to do another um, bottom bottle pour. I'm going to do it on a record. It's been primed with some primer paint or you can gesso it. Back is taped. I just have to find the bottle that I used the last time. I have a few here, but you got to make sure that it's nice and level. That one looks pretty good. I have leveled my canvas with my little level. So what I decided, I have some more paint to mix up. Just my white. I haven't I realized I didn't have enough white. So I may as well just do it on camera. I'm just going to do, in my little measuring cup, two ounces of paint. This is Artist Loft Low Acrylic White. So I've got this little measuring cup. Got uh, just about two, two ounces of paint in there. So I have my flow trawl in a cup. So I'm going to put two ounces of flow, well, maybe not quite two ounces of flow trawl in here. So I'll go to three and a half ounces and then I'll stir. Oh, I got a lump of something in here. Time to put a new cup. The Artist Loft paint doesn't take as much flow troll. This depends. The whites, I think the white is a little on the thicker side. I'll measure, I'll stir this up. Still pretty thick. I'm gonna add a little more flow trawl and then I'm gonna add some water. I'll just turn it down a little bit so you can see. So it just needs some water. I use distilled water. Just put it in a an old dish soap bottle. It works great. This is my other white paint. See the consistency of that? What I'm looking for. I actually could probably dump that in there and add water. I'll we'll see. A little more. Last video that I did was the yellows and the blacks. Everybody seems to like it even though it doesn't look like a flower. It made a pretty pretty nice design with some cells and I didn't even have silicone in there. Today I'm gonna do um, some colors like fall like red, yellow, and some gold. Two different kinds of red. A deep red, if 
by Liquitex and a metallic red by Artist Loft. Okay, a little bit more water in here and then I think we're good. I'll give this a good stir. Let's mix it all together. Pretty good here. There. Okay. All right. So this is my yellow. And this is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Yellow. It's a little bright, so I added a little bit of gold tube paint to it just to calm the yellow down a bit. And then I have metallic red. And then the deep red, I don't know if I have that one. Oh, here it is. Liquitex Basics, deep red, cadmium deep red hue. And then the gold is, um, oh, where's my gold? Here it is. It's uh, Old Gold by Liquitex, or Artist Loft. All right, now let's see what order I'm going to do these in. I'll turn you down more. There's my paints. Move this out of the way. All right, so. Let's get started. I think I'll pour a little bit around the edges just to help it flow. It doesn't have to be too thick. We're good here. Okay, let's get started. I think I'll start with the deep, deep, deep red on the outside. Should I do the lighter on the outside or dark? Yeah, actually, you know what? I think I'll do gold on the outside. can see that. I find metallic paint thickens up as it sits. I don't know why, but for some reason, something in the paint that does that, I guess. So just keep checking it. All right, here it goes. Still think it's a little bit too thick. Oh, 
add some more water. There's no silicone in this. Don't really need silicone. Do the I'll do some I'll do some yellow. Maybe some white in between. Just a little bit. I'm not going to do a lot of white. Now the metallic red. Yep, fall's going to be here soon. I'm not looking forward to it. I like fall. I like the weather and the temperature and the nice breeze. But I don't like the reason. Winter's coming right behind it. Some gold. I like September. It's my birthday month, my anniversary month. Okay, I'll do some dark deep red now. white <sighs> well I need yellow again <clears throat> Oops, I dripped. Shouldn't matter. It's only a little drip. It'll get covered. It'll get covered all up. Okay, now some of this. This light red, I think. Oh boy. It was leftover paint from my girl's weekend. I think it might have a little bit of silicone in it. it seems to be selling up. Oh well, it's going to give some kind of an effect anyway. Alright, now the gold. Or did I just do gold? No, I did yellow. I'll do some gold.
the deep red again. I'll do more deep red this time. That's a nice red. Do a little more white. I need some more yellow. The yellow is kind of getting buried in there. Do more deep red against the yellow. Hmm. Red again. More yellow. cells happening. Okay, more dark red. No, wait. Um, a little bit more white, I think. Sticks out of here. This dark red's almost gone. I want to save a little bit of the dark red for the middle, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I may as well use lots. gold. Doesn't matter what order you put them in, it'll all look nice together. As long as your colors are... As long as your colors look good together, it doesn't matter which way you, which way you do it. Now, some more of this metallic red. I want to 
want to thank everybody for watching my other videos. We're doing very well. I really appreciate everybody watching. I guess hopefully everybody likes what I'm putting out, so I guess that's why they're watching. My one of my last videos, not the last one, but the one before that's all yellow and black, had some dried results in it. So you, if you want to look at that, you can see that. I think it was number 95. No, or 96, I think. You can see some dried results. This is looking pretty cool. So now what color? I guess white. A little bit more white. should do it. <sighs> I'm gonna have to... Well, I think we need some more gold. Try the gold beside the white this time. Must be fairly level. I'm not too one-sided, maybe this way a little bit, but well, I think I'll finish off this dark red. now. There's a lot of air bubbles in this yellow that could be part of the reason they're bubbling up there. Okay. Now this lighter uh, metallic red, it's almost done. I think I just had enough paint. Should I do another white? One more white. Now I wish I had a little more red. That's okay. I'll just do more gold. Oops, lost my other cup. Okay. I don't have any more red, so I only have a little bit of yellow, so I'll finish off with the yellow. 
What's this going to be yellow on the gold? Hmm. That's okay. That's okay. It doesn't matter. matter I don't think I'll finish off with the gold and that should be it um, I wonder if I can squeeze any more red out of here I wish I had some more red. Should have made more red. Let me see this one. This is what you call scrimping. The red right on top. That's okay. Yes, I think this red had a bit of silicone in it. So much for no silicone. I can see it in the bottom of the pot. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm gonna have to. So I'm right at the edge now. I'm gonna have to tip this a bit. All right, I better take this off gently. Let that flow in the middle a little. And put a little bit of gold in the middle. fingers off and then let's try and spread this out a bit. I need to go this way. center. Go back this way. Back to center. This way. This down. I need to get my stick. I'll use this make my lines I think I like it I like the cells around the edges of the so-called petals Let's make some more designs. There. 
I love it. I'll go this, through this again. I hope everybody else loves it. Just because I love it doesn't mean everybody else loves it, but I do love it and I think it's great. Let's see if I can hold it up for you to see. I thought I didn't want some cells, but I really love how the cells are on the edges. It's beautiful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications.